Hi and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. In this video we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video of our Sew Along series and we're going to begin looking at the instructions that come with most commercial sewing patterns and I'll walk you through how to understand all the information that's listed there. Go ahead and we're going to look inside and see what we have. So I'm going to set the envelope to the side. Here's all of our pattern pieces. We do not do anything with our pattern pieces yet. We can go ahead, tuck those back in the envelope to keep them safe. Patterns, commercial patterns usually come in English and Spanish here in the US. And you can see that this page here is page one of four. You flip it to the back side, you've got two of four. And then our other sheet has three of four and four of four. Next section is the general directions. These are the terms and the symbols that you're going to see on the pattern pieces. So the company's going ahead and letting you know that when you see this arrow, this is your grain line. You're gonna place it on straight on the grain of the fabric, parallel to the selvage. Here we've got place the solid line on the fold of fabric. This little dashed line with the dots is the front, the center front or the back of the garment. These are our notches, dots, cutting line. This double line, we're going to be interested in that for the shorts because this is where we lengthen or shorten. This is the information that we need in order to lengthen or shorten. And then here, this is really important. You always want to check your seam allowance that they've already so they've already factored into the pattern when it was created. So the seam allowance for almost all commercial sewing patterns is going to be 5 8 You can adjust that, but know that when you adjust your seam allowance, it is going to change the finished size of the garment. The seam allowance, it tells you, is also printed on the multi-size patterns. And we're going to mark our size with a colored felt tip pen. See the chart on the tissue for how to use the multi-size pattern. So I'll show that to you when we start working with the pattern pieces. Cutting and marking. Before cutting, we want to press the pattern pieces with a warm, dry iron. Pre-shrink our fabric. And I have a post that I linked to in the first blog post that explained to you how to get your fabric ready. Circle your cutting layout. Pin the pattern pieces to the fabric as shown in the cutting layout. For double thicknesses, we're going to fold with right sides together. For single thicknesses, we're going to place it fabric side up, right side up. We're not going to be using any pile, so we don't need to worry about this. After we cut our fabric out, we're going to transfer our markings to the wrong side of the fabric. Before removing the pattern, we're going to use pens and or chalk, our preferred method, or a tracing wheel and paper. This shows us how to mark. And we will be marking um, a few things on our shorts. This shows you any type of special cutting layout that we need to be aware of. Now here for the sewing, we sew the garment following the sewing directions, and those are going to be in the instructions. Stitch with a 5, out, five 8 seam allowance, unless it's otherwise stated in the direction. We're going to press our seams open whenever it's indicated, and we're going to clip. Again, when we get to this step, I'll point it out as we go. This explains how to trim the seam layers, the corners, the inner curves, and the notched outer curves, which we will have those with our shorts. So what you need to do is go ahead, read through your instructions completely. So everything that I just covered, I want you to look at the views, look at the pattern piece, pieces they have, look at any general directions they give you, look at any sewing terms that they give you, and then find where the shorts instructions begin. So here you also want to look at your layout. For this, the instructions start on page three. Read through all the instructions. As long as I've been sewing, I still read through all of my instructions before I begin. After you've read through your instructions, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section of this video or pop on over into the Facebook group and post your questions there. Get your fabric washed, dried, and ironed because in the next video, we're going to begin getting our pattern pieces cut out.